Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the working procedure of maxima and minima for functions of two variables. A function f of x, y will be given. It will be in terms of x and y. As a first step, we have to find the partial differentiation of the function with respect to x, that is fx. And we have to find partial differentiation of the function f with respect to y, that is fy. Then, in step 2, we have to equate fx equal to 0 and fy equal to 0. We get equations and after solving the equations, we get the values of x and y. So, solve to get x and y values. So, these are called as the stationary values and we write it as a coordinate and we call it as a stationary points. So, we have to write the stationary points using the values of x and y. For example, the points may be x1, y1, x2, y2 and another point may be x3, y3 and another point may be x4, y4. So, the number of points depends upon the number of values of x and y we get here. It depends upon the equation. Equation what we got in the fx and the fy. Sometimes we get one point or more than four points. Depends upon the equation. After writing the stationary points, we have to find the second derivative. That is fxx. It means the partial differentiation of fx with respect to x. And we have to find what is fxy. This is partial differentiation of fy with respect to x again and fyy. So, we have to find all these three and let's name this as capital A. Let's capital A is fxx, capital B is fxy and capital C is fyy. As a next step, we make a tabular column where in the first column we write all the stationary points. So the points what we got we fill it here x1 y1 is the first point then x2 y2 is the second point then we have x3 y3 then we have x4 y4 so we may have further points also depends upon the equation. So for each point we have to find the value of a, then the value of b, then the value of c. Then we have to use a condition. The condition is ac minus b square. That is a is nothing but fxx, b is fxy, c is fyy and the condition is ac minus b square and finally the conclusion. So we are going to calculate for each point all these things then we have to write the conclusion. We substitute the value of the point in A expression and we check whether it is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. We have to check this. Then again, we calculate the value of B and C and we substitute in this condition. Then again, this condition we have to check whether it is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. In the same way, I have to proceed for every other point. So, we have to check whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0. Then we have to put the value of b and c. Then again, we substitute the values of a, b and c in the condition ac minus b square and we check whether it is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. In the same way for the other points also. After this, we have a set of conditions. Based on the condition, we will give the conclusion. The first condition is, suppose if ac minus b square is greater than 0 and a greater than 0, then it is minimum. Suppose if ac minus b square is greater than 0, and a less than 0, then maximum. Another condition is, 
suppose if the value of ac minus b square becomes less than 0 then there is no extreme values and we call the point as a saddle point so there is no extreme values there is no maximum no minimum so we call that point as a saddle point suppose if the condition ac minus b square equal to 0 then we can say the case is doubtful so to arrive the conclusion we need further investigation so the case is doubtful further investigation needed so these are the four type of conclusion so based on the values of the a from here whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0 and the values of the condition ac minus b square whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0 we conclude so if ac minus b square is greater than 0 and a greater than 0 then it is minimum if ac minus b square is greater than 0 and a less than 0 then it is maximum if this ac minus b square is less than 0 then it is a saddle point and if this is equal to 0 then we cannot conclude for conclusion we have to investigate further so based on the other factors we arrive the conclusion then after finding it is maximum and minimum to find the maximum and minimum values we have to substitute the stationary points in the original function f of x comma y so this is the complete working procedure to find the maximum and minimum and the maximum and the minimum values so as a first part we find the partial differentiation with respect to x and y and the second part we equate to zero and we get the equation after solving that we get set of values for x and y and we write that as a stationary point that is the third step then we find capital a capital b capital c which is nothing but fxx fxy and f x y y then we tablet all the values where we have the set of points as the first column then we find the value of a b and c and substitute here to find a c minus b square then we arrive the conclusion so it depends upon the values of a whether greater than 0 or less than 0 and the condition value that is a c minus b square whether it is positive or negative that is greater than 0 or less than 0 we arrive the conclusion based on these four cases then once if we know where it is maximum and where it is minimum to find its maximum the minimum value we substitute the particular point in the given function f of x comma y